Uh, my faith, frankly, for, for me, it's kind of having a, an eternal perspective of, uh, you know, kind of where I fit into the, the grand scheme of things in the universe. So it, it, it's my faith. So I have this uh, hobby, uh, film photography, and uh, so I've got a collection of old film cameras, and uh, so I spend a lot of time um, kind of dealing with film, and developing my own film, and things of that nature, and that, uh, apparently that's not terribly common these days. My definition of character is really the thing that occurs at the intersection of integrity, courage, and perseverance. And those three characteristics, integrity, courage, and perseverance, are the things that I think define a person's character. And so that I, I tend to look very heavily at those things. You know, I don't, I, I generally, I don't put a lot of value on things. Um, I put more value on, on relationships and, and things of that nature. But in terms of physical possessions, I, I'd say probably the most, you know, prized thing that I have is a going away gift that I received uh, from the enlisted force when I left command of the first Special Operations Wing in 2013. And so the plaque on this thing says something like, thanks for providing top cover, you know, from the enlisted men and women of the wing. And, and the significance of that was that eagle, you know, and the colonel, at, you know, rank being an eagle, that eagle sat up there, you know, with his wings spread, kind of protecting all those airmen underneath him. Last summer, when uh, shortly after I, right when I was getting to Herbert Field uh, as the AFSOC commander, um, the first AC 130J uh, went to combat. I had a lot of fingerprints on the AC-130 program at the very front end, and so to then, 10 years later, watch the first one go to combat was, was kind of gratifying to me. As I watched them grow and develop, I guess the thing that I want, um, I want to see in them, and that I do see in them, is the, the willingness uh, to do the right thing even when it's hard and uh, even when it's unpopular, even when it's lonely, I, I wanna see the moral courage to, to do the right thing. Uh, so I've had a number of important mentors in my career. Uh, so one that, you know, kind of uh, current events kind of thing, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Myron Chivas. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Chivas and I are doing a uh, have done a series of podcasts uh, called AFSOC Unfiltered, uh, where we talk about issues of race. And, and Lieutenant Colonel Chivas is, a, is an African-American airman. And he and I have got a 10-year uh, dialogue on, on race. And I've learned a lot from him. I've found a lot of blind spots that I've had. And so I, I consider Lieutenant Colonel Chivas uh, to be an important mentor of mine over the last decade. Uh, when I was uh, the wing commander at Robert, the first command chief that I hired uh, was a young chief master sergeant na named Ray Colon Lopez, um, commonly known as CZ. Uh, uh, he is the senior enlisted advisor to the chairman right now, and so he's the, he is the senior enlisted member of the U.S. Armed Forces. And uh, uh, CZ was a bit of a rock star, and uh, you know I knew when I hired him that I was hiring somebody that would take up more of the spotlight than I would because he's just so popular and charismatic and, and he's such a fantastic leader. And I was perfectly okay with that because he, he's such a, a great leader and uh, has been a great mentor of mine for uh, a number of years. So that's a great question. Um, and I would say it's all written down. It's in the AFSOC strategic guidance uh, you know, we spent, uh, uh, Chief Olson and I spent six months uh, getting re-familiarized with AFSOC when we came back last summer. Uh, and then, you know, as we kind of plotted the way ahead and, and where we think the command needs to be going based on the feedback we received, uh, the learning that we did over the course of that six months, we wrote it down. And in the AFSOC strategic guidance, it's about a 10 or 12 page document. It's unclassified. 
and everything that we're going to be working on until the day that I leave AFSOC is all written down in that, in that document. And it's really all about how do we become the AFSOC that we need to become for the nation uh, out in 2030. Uh, that's really uh, the, the, the difficult problem that we have ahead of us, but, um, but we're good enough and smart enough.